All right. It's early September. Well, September 9th. Um, I'm at Lake Pleasant, Arizona. Got the boat ready right here. Getting ready to launch it. This is going to be a channel cat slash flathead trip, hopefully. Maybe some stripers, too. Um, it's hot, 110 again. It's that time of year where we're hoping for cooler weather, but we got about a month yet of super hot. But it's a very awesome lake, one of the bigger lakes around. And uh, let's get going. When I first started boating, I watched a lot of YouTube videos on boat ramp etiquette. I'm really glad I did. I wish more people would. Uh, the boat ramp can be a uh, frustrating place for a lot of boaters, especially on a really busy weekend. And when I'm often by myself, so I've had to got, get really good at uh, getting my boat parked, get up and get out of there so other people can launch their boats. Um, it's unfortunate my boat has to stay tied up to the dock for a little bit as I run and park my truck, but for the most part, people are understanding. Even the cows are trying to get out of the heat. <laughs> it's awesome. See if we can get up close to this coyote. Oh, there he goes. He's got something in his mouth. That's cool. He's at the top of the hill right there. Hey, buddy. I found a pretty cool spot. I'm at the very end of the Agua Fria arm of Lake Pleasant. Um, there's some wild donkeys right over here. You can hear them in the bushes and they're, they don't sound incredibly happy that I'm here, but you know, I'm gonna walk up there. I'm gonna set up my trail cam, this little guy here, and I'm gonna leave it here overnight. This seems like a really good spot where animals would come from all around to get to the lake to get, get some water probably after dark. I'm gonna throw some meat out, I'm gonna throw some veggies out. And we'll, uh, we'll see what happens tonight. I'll probably fish this for a little while. It's 2.30 in the afternoon. It's only about 10 feet deep. <clears throat> Seems like a pretty good spot to spend the night, but I don't know. I got, got some area, other areas to check out. So we might end up back here for the night. Um, we'll see, more to come. Well, don't make fun of my hat. There's no uh, shame in the shade game out here and I'm bald as they come, so. First thing I got to do is I got to tie my boat to the shore. I couldn't imagine if a little breeze came up and I <laughs> watched my boat drift off. I'm sure, I could just swim to it, but i uh, rather not. So I keep these stakes, I pound them in the ground, and uh, I can tie my boat up. Um, if it's windy, I have two of them, and I'll do them at a 45-degree angle off the back of the boat. That's usually how I sleep. It helps me sleep more comfortably, so knowing that I'm not going to drift away somewhere. This is a really cool spot. There's several washes that kind of come down into the lake where it ends. And uh, I would imagine a ton of animals come down here. Uh, I see lots of cattle tracks. I see deer. Um, the donkeys are everywhere. Uh, I'm going to be seeing some here in just a minute. Um, won't waste your time, so I'll hurry up. the bass and that's my shad <laughs> he swallowed it so um probably not gonna feed too many people there but it's fun
Got some visitors here in the boat. What a fantastic little moment. All right, uh, <clears throat> sun's trying to go behind the mountain there. Um, it's hot, it's been a, been a hot day. I haven't done a great job of filming. Um, I was fishing with baby shad for a while back in that cove and caught three small bass. Something broke my line, something bigger. I, <clears throat> I got one glance at it, it kind of looked like a catfish took a shad, so that's possible, I suppose. Um, I'm in the spot I'm going to be for the night, at least for three, four hours. If nothing happens, I'll move on. But <clears throat> I have a chicken breast out for channel cat and a live bluegill for flathead. We'll see uh, see what happens. I'm tired, but having a good day so far. All right, these are my rods. That's my flathead setup. And just a normal, normal spinning rod for the channel cat. I'm assuming we'll catch a bunch of channels. I usually do real well in here. <clears throat> My personal best is 11 pounds, so I'll try to beat that tonight. All right, not even dark yet. Got me a tiny little guy, probably a two pound flathead. But I am not skunk tonight. I'm pretty pumped, man. It's not even dark. Took it and he, he had fun with it. All right, well, let's see what I can cut my hand up trying to get in his mouth. He's feisty. Fuck you. There he is. He's got some war wounds on him. All right, well, I guess we'll let him go. He's too small to even eat. <laughs> All right, I figured since we're killing time and uh, waiting for bites, I would test a whiskey. I might do this more often. <clears throat> I enjoy whiskey and I'm not a snob by any means. My go-to is quantity over quality, but uh, you know, gets the job done. But I do enjoy a fine whiskey, a bourbon, scotch, I, I don't mind. <clears throat> and uh, probably, rare that I spend 30 over 35 bucks for a fifth you know that, that'd be a treat something you know <coughs> on a special occasion but I got uh, from Safeway top shelf Redwood Empire I don't know anything about it it's a rye whiskey it's got some cool sayings on it from Sonoma County uh, I used to live in northern Arizona or northern California and so uh, you know I thought we'd try it it uh, has a cool post by John Muir on it. Most people are in the world, not in it. I couldn't agree more. So we're going to give it a try. Real glass, not supposed to be on the boat, but you know, got to try it. That smells really good. <laughs> it smells, uh, smells smooth, almost sweet. Bite you back a little bit. Yeah. Finishes nice though. Alright. I could sip one or two of these, but uh doesn't finish very good. Doesn't finish smooth anyway. <clears throat> Be a good mix in whiskey in my opinion. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mix it. But I'm gonna drink this one. Talk to you soon. All right, still not dark. Flatty number two, a little bigger than the last one, but still, you know, still pretty small. But um, I'm excited, man. Tonight's tonight's popping off. No channels yet, just just flathead. So that's two. That's actually number third. 
number 14 and number 15 for the year for me. So, I mean, they're all trophies as far as I'm concerned. I love it. Okay, well, still not quite dark yet. Just got my third, biggest one so far, still, you know, probably five pounds, six pounds. Um, pretty pumped. That's three, setting to have a pretty freaking good night. That, Phil, that looks like that might be your dinner right there. Woohoo, let's get in the water. Look at this one. He's pretty, he's moving around. I don't think he likes me. Check that out though, that looks like rock. Um, oh, you know what that is? Spider web. Yeah. Maybe I'll leave that alone. Okay. Not flip flop season, that's for sure. Tonight I was smart enough to put my regular shoes on. I'm usually in flip-flops, but. All right, I see something glowing up here. I gotta check out. I don't know what it is, but it's big. If it's a scorpion, it's fucking mad, so. I think it's a fishing lure stuck in a tree from when it was high water. Look how far away we are from the boat. <laughs> oh, there's the little guy. I don't think he likes me either. Makes me sad. All right. Well, I'm gonna take this fishing lure, I think. Nah, it's way <laughs> I can't even get in there. I think the desert's so cool. All right, well, this is embarrassing. Fish number four, maybe a pound, maybe. He's feisty, tiny but fierce. But it is number four. So night is awesome. So it's, it's pretty windy, kind of early in the night. Um, this is not my best light, I can see that already. But uh, something I wanted to say here is just that, you know, as far as fishing goes, I learned it all from my dad. Um, him and I went fishing from the early, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't, I don't remember the first time I fished. I just, we always, we fished and we hunted. And I was an archery hunter um, with my dad. Yeah. He died this year. He died a month ago. It's always something I think about when I'm out fishing. Um, just, I meet so many kids, so many people that don't know how to fish that want to I mean it looks amazing they want they want to try but they just don't have the the history in it you know and I grew up knowing how to tie a, a what I thought was a fisherman's knot now I know it's the uh, improved clinch knot <laughs> and uh, I've you know uh, I don't know I just My dad would love this. He'd really love this. What an incredible night. Uh, Seven, seven flathead. I uh, think that's a record for me. 
I mean, they're all small. Kind of makes me want to start using lighter gear, you know, fighting them and having fun. I mean, the gear I have is kind of aimed at 50 pound flathead, so so I just kind of reel those in real quick and, and get on with my night. But I would hate to have some light gear and then hook into a toad, so probably not a good idea to go lighter. Um, all right, man. Well, early September, the morning's nice, a little warm, but it's overcast, so the sun's not kicking my ass. Let's go get that trail cam and get out of here. Go see my wife. All right. Seven last night, and I ran out of bait. I think I'd have caught more, so that's awesome. Let's get them in the water. Hey, little guy. Go. Awesome. <laughs> There's two, three. Go for it, buddy. That's the biggest one of the night. Ah, damn. Bleeding. Come on, you two. There you go. Oh, you don't want to leave me? I know. It's been sweet. Thanks for watching my video. I think that was uh, that was an incredible trip. It's got me just jonesing to get back out. I'm a married man with with a wife and kids and and lots to do. So I don't I don't get out as much as I want to, but I do get out quite a bit. And uh, my wife uh, tolerates it and joins me sometimes too. You'll see her in future videos once it cools off a little outside. She painted me this for my birthday last year. She's incredible that way and uh, I love her so thanks for watching um, let me know if you'd like to see anything else in the video um, and for the record I didn't finish that whole fifth of whiskey that was just sort of staged <laughs> have a good day